Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining and uh, so my name is Lokesh Lalwani. In today's video, we'll be talking about what is the difference between concatenate and concatenate X. You know that these are the two DEX functions available in Power BI. We'll see practically how we can use them. And if you're coming here for the first time, I would really appreciate if you can simply uh, subscribe to this channel. We are coming up with a lot of videos and information on such technologies. Would be very useful for you. So let us just start understanding this and then we'll talk about a few more important stuff. Okay, let me just open up Power BI where I'll be talking about that. Before that, let me just show you one of the slides which I've created just now to discuss about this. With the help of this, you'll be able to know what is the difference between concatenate and concatenate X. In concatenate, as you can see, here is my first name and the last name. So the, these are the two different columns and it has created one full name uh, column over here. As you can see, we don't have any space which can't be created over here using this. So ultimately, what do we have? We have the outcome in concatenate like this, right? On the other hand, concatenate X, you know that we have several iterator functions in Power BI sum x, count x, average x, max x, similarly concatenate x. So these are iterator functions. It means it iterate row by row, right? So ultimately you can see the outcome is that if we have the category and subcategory with us, and if we use concatenate x, we'll be getting an outcome like this, where it will be putting all of them, all of the related bikes over here into one single set, right? So let's see how we can practically do it. Okay, so let me jump into Power BI and here I already have the model in place. Everything is already connected. Now I'll be showing you an example of concatenate function first. I'll be creating a calculated column for the same. So here I have the customer's uh, table and here I have the first name and the last name. I'll show you how we can use this DEX function. First of all, I'll simply right click anywhere inside this table and I'll go with a new column. Once we get into the new column, you know that already at the top, it will start activating the function or the formula bar. Once it will get activated, we'll start writing the function. Okay, so here we go. It's coming up right now and we'll be using concatenate function here. So first of all, there we go. So it's activated now and let me just rename it and I would rename it as full name, right? Equals to concatenate. There we go. So we are getting two options as you can see concatenate and concatenate X. So I'll go with concatenate number one. Now it has two argument. It supports only two arguments. What are those two arguments in our case? It's going to be first name and the last name. So I'll put first as you can see it is showing us as customer's first name comma and text two is going to be the last name. So I'll simply say last and you can see it's last name. And I'll just close on the parenthesis here, enter, and I'll be having the entire column with me with full name, right? I can't put a space in between. It gives us only two arguments. Now, the better alternative. So this is something else. We should not discuss it over here, but just for the sake of right outcome, what we are looking for, better we should use an ampersand to, you, to concatenate it, right? And how to do it? So I'll simply remove this. You got the idea about how to use concatenate. I'll simply remove it and I would say first name, there we go, ampersand, which is the, sorry, first name, ampersand, which is the and symbol, double quotes, space, double quotes. Again, ampersand, right? Double quotes, space, double quotes. So I'm putting a space in between and then it's going to be the last name. I'm sorry, it's going to be the last name. Here we go. I'll press enter and now you'll notice that we'll be having spaces also. This is what you are looking for. But you got the idea about how we can use concatenate function. Now let me explain it to you. So this is the outcome. Let me explain it to you that how we can use concatenate x an iterator function. So it will just do row wise calculation. So first of all, it's a measure. So I will be creating a measure for the same. I'll go to the report view where I don't have anything. And I'll be doing the same example, which I've shown, shown you into the slide, which is 
आई बी क्रिएटिंग दी सब कैटेगरीज कॉन्कैटनेशन फॉर ईच कैटेगरी और इट्स अ फिल्टर कॉन्टेक्सट आई टॉक अबाउट इट लेट मी फर्स्ट राइट कॉन कैटेनेट एक्स सो फॉर दैट आई विल बी गोइंग टू the sub categories table over here and here i need to create the uh, measure although i have created the entire measure table over here i will simply right click and i'll go to new measure it's always good to create a measure table because everything is organized in your model very important okay so i'll come over here and i'll rename it as uh, let's say category wise sub category right and here i'll be using concatenate x look at the arguments first table which table we are talking about it's going to be sub category that's going to be the sub category table comma in the sub category what is going to be the expression what i want to show i want to show the sub categories right the concatenation of the sub categories so i'll simply say sub category name i want to concatenate sub category name comma now after each sub category how you want to join it what is going to be your delimiter it's going to be double quotes comma space double quotes right so road bike comma space mountain bike comma space xyz so i'll simply close down the parenthesis i'm done with the dex function here which is concatenate x i'll simply push enter here and now because it's a measure an explicit measure i'm going to show it into a visualization which probably i'll be putting a matrix right so first of all i'll come here i'll insert a matrix and i'll first of all i'll be putting the category name so i'll go over there and put category name so there i go which is product category is going to be the category name i'll put it into the rows and then i have to put in category wise sub category first of all let me just also put it into the focus mode we'll be able to see it clearly and then i'm putting category wise sub category here into the values so there i go you can see all of the concatenation i want to get rid of this total it doesn't make any sense so i'll go to the format and i'll go to sub totals and i'll simply turn off the sub total here and i'll scroll towards left here and we are getting the outcome so i believe you got the idea what is the difference between concatenate and concatenate x dex function thank you so much for joining and i would like to also mention it to you that we are coming with a uh, lot of learning material if you are interested in learning power bi in detail i have put in a link for the same into the description you can simply go over there check out the link you will get immense knowledge from there if you haven't subscribed this channel so far hit the subscribe button click on the bell icon also to get the notification and also don't forget to like comment and share this video thank you so much take care bye bye